God bless America. You know, you see a lot going on in this country. A lot that we're ashamed of. You know, it's just, it is just a, a terrible thing that society has forgotten what freedom is, and what this country, how it started, what it was originally about. Now it's a land of greed, communism, socialism, you know, you name it. Drugs abound like left and right, people dying from drug abuse and people getting killed out on the streets just because they love freedom, they love life. This is no longer uh, the country me and you knew. Is there hope? I think that really lies on several things here. That relies on us and it relies on the Creator, the Great One. So the question still lies, are you for freedom? Or are you an American? Now a lot of you who may eventually have some time come to watch this and you're original and you have originated from another country to come over to America for freedom because you've been under oppression and other terrible events that has happened in your homeland. So you come over here to be free. Freedom is a good thing, but sometimes people don't really fully understand what that means. Freedom. What does freedom mean to you? Think about it. We have all kinds of people in this, this great country from all walks of life. You know, some have brown skin, some have pale skin, some have red skin, or, you know, some may have dark skin. And the thing is, freedom means that for each person, no matter what your skin color is, you are free. You're free to think for yourself, to express yourself. But freedom does not mean to oppress others by abusing your freedom, to dominate another. All right, for those who have come over here with the intention to dominate, you need to go back to the country you came from because you didn't come over here for freedom. You come over here to invade us. And then for those who came over for freedom, for the sake of freedom, you need to stand against tyranny. You see, right now, this country is under tyranny. And this country right now has no hope, as of right now. Why? Because we have leaders I mean, I could go through here and spend all day just naming names, but you know the leaders that have brought this country down to her knees. Brought her down to the knees. It's a broken, divided country, no longer the United States, but divided states. America the beautiful. But look, look at what is happening. There's a lot of them use the, this uh, climate change as an excuse to dominate, to destroy. They talk about building up and rebuilding and stuff, but what they're talking about is destroying everything that you've come to know as freedom. To destroy it, take away yours and mine. 
our freedom to destroy that which is precious and turn it into a country that is nothing but tyranny. That's the very thing that this country wanted to get away from. Why the, the people that came from Europe, that came over here back in the day, a long time ago in history. What do you think there was an American Revolution? We could go all through history here, but you know enough of it what I'm getting at. So my question to you, are you an American? Are you truly from freedom? Freedom doesn't mean to enforce your freedom, your personal beliefs and everything on someone else. That's not real freedom. No. Freedom is the freedom of each individual able to believe, you know, to, you know, to worship as he, he will, to uh, believe in whatever he may believe or she may believe. Yeah. You know, to be able to go out and maybe have your own business if you wanted a business so you can uh, have land or a home of your own and a family and stuff, you know what I mean? And good education for your children, but now this is no longer that. It is turned into a circus, a horrible, nightmarish circus. I can go on and on with this just as well as you can. But what I'm wanting to do is to encourage you. Do not give up the fight for freedom. It is up to you and me, everyone who loves freedom and sees that there is hope for this country. It is, you know, I want to encourage you to stand up. Don't let this go unchallenged. We have people here in this country destroying our freedom. And I'm being interrupted by the little dog there. Well, she's not so little anymore. But see, I wanted to encourage you about freedom. Okay? Think about it. Freedom. Because right now, I'll tell you this, and think about it. You need to look in your history too. Look back on like in the days of Gorbachev and the, that guy's days and so forth. The people under a communist regime back then especially had more freedom than what we do in this country right now. That's no lie. So what does that say about our country? Now that you understand that, now the question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to just sit back and complain? Or are you, are you going to do what an American is supposed to do? You as, an, you as a, who considers yourself as a patriot. What are you going to do? Are you Are going to sit back and complain and whine? And are you going to get up and do something? So if you agree with this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. But what I'm interested in is you share in this. If you believe in what I've just said. If you believe that it is up to us to rise up and refuse to take this tyranny any longer, that we stand up and get our country back, freedom, freedom, that's the word, so that's long forgotten, it's about time we start hearing more of freedom. And it's not this woke stuff, and it's not all, all these uh, activists out there with all kinds of crazy notions that don't even make sense. It's time we end all this and 
bring back America the way it is supposed to be, the way it was intended for freedom. And they threw the Creator out of the schools. The Pledge of Allegiance is no longer said in school. None of the public schools. It is time for America to take back that which we have lost. To fight for it, you gotta fight for it. You, you know, you have to. Prayer has been kicked out of school, and they have brought in all kinds of garbage in the schools now, and they're brainwashing our children. Aren't you fed up with it, America? Let's do something. Let's not talk about it. So until then, let me say thank you for watching. And I wish you well. Be blessed. And until later, uh, I'll say a hope and wado.